Good afternoon, everybody. We're last seen somewhere. Hope you're having a great day. If you've been watching our videos, you know we're currently in Madeira. And if you want to watch those videos, why not subscribe and check them out? Yeah, check them out. But today, we've got to get our seafaring legs on because we're going on a little catamaran trip. Hopefully my seafaring legs are longer than my normal legs. That'd be quite cool if they are. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just making our way to the marina now. So we've made it to the marina and we're outside the place we've got to catch the catamaran. Yeah, we're gonna go see whales and dolphins today. We might be taking a bit of a gamble because we're here in March and we have heard that there's not that many around, haven't we? Yeah, we weren't gonna do this trip, but then we read a few reviews of people who have done it at this time of year and they did see some, so fingers yeah. crossed we will. Fingers crossed. So this is the boat that is taking us out today. It looks nice. So we're on the catamaran and we're waiting to go and unfortunately my legs are exactly the same size so sea legs are no longer whatsoever. We're going with a company called Seamorn and it cost us £25 which was €27 Euros each. So that's the end of our boat trip. We've just got off the catamaran, but wow, what an amazing afternoon. It was absolutely fantastic. I thoroughly enjoyed myself today. It seemed like we were out there for ages, didn't it? Yeah, it was a three hour trip, wasn't it? Yeah. So quite a while, but well worth it. Really, really good. Um, just as I thought, we weren't gonna get any footage of dolphins because every time you got your camera out, they vanished. They appeared at the front of the boat, so I walked right to the front of the catamaran and managed to capture a yeah, few, you, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. yeah really good. But I highly recommend it. It was really good value for my night. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. But now it's getting late because obviously, like I say, we're on there for three hours. So we're going to head back to the hotel, get changed and go out for tonight. So we've stopped at the beer house. If you're on a cruise and you come to Madeira, it's going to be the first place you come to as you walk off your ship because the ship's dock over there. 
and the path will bring you right round to here. It's a lovely place to sit on the night because the views are fantastic. You can see all the city of Fun Charlotte up behind you. And Fun Charlotte night looks like a Christmas tree. It's so pretty. So they brew all their own beers here and I've gone for a traditional stout ale that they do. I'm going to see what it's like. Yeah, it's not bad. Oh, no. Actually, that's a bit strong. That's not, not my favourite stout I've ever had, I've got to be honest. It was tasting like all right at the beginning, but no. That's not for me, that one. Oh, no. A bit chocolatey, but no. Not good? No, I don't think I'd ever have that again. That's, mm, I'm not looking forward to drinking the rest of it. <laughs> <laughs> but like I was saying, they do brew all their own beers here. And Dorinda's gone for something a little bit different. I think I wish I'd gone for Dorinda's now. Right, so I've been really boring and I've just gone for the beer house lager. So I'll see what it tastes like. I don't know. I think it was a waste of decision to play safe. My stout is a bit odd. Yeah, that's fine. A bit, um, a bit different than usual lagers. A bit sort of wheaty, I think. Oh, is it? But um, yeah, it's nice. Well, like a Germany one. Yeah. traditional Madeira restaurant and we're going to try some traditional Madeira food and I have gone for the scabbard fish so that's done the traditional Madeira way with banana. So I've gone for lomba de vaca con, con gules I think that's how you say it I'm probably butchering it I've had it a couple of times since I've been in Madeira I really like it it's steak and like a mushroom sauce with chips and salad it's very similar in fact it's almost identical to the one that we had the other day where it was all chopped up and in bits with chips but the sauce here with this one is so rich and tasty it's absolutely delicious. So a scallard fish is actually an eel family, but it's a very traditional Madeira dish, um, and they serve it with banana on top. It's supposed to taste like, taste like cod, so let's give it a go. And I'm going to get a bit of fish and a bit of banana. Yeah, you want to get all the flavours in there. Oh, well. Oh yeah, it does taste exactly like cod. Does it? But it is really nice, and the banana gives lovely with it. It sweetens it up. It's really nice. It smells lovely. And they give you so many vegetables in here. It's such big portions. It's lovely. So like I said, this is one of my favourite dishes here in Madeira. I absolutely adore it. I'm going to try and get a bit of steak and a chip and a bit of salad. It's that. It's lovely. Brilliant. <laughs> That is delicious. The vegetables of Madeira are absolutely fantastic. They're so tasty and fresh. It makes every meal you have brilliant. It really does. But that steak and that sauce is absolutely delicious. We've had a brilliant day today. Seeing the dolphins was such great fun. Yeah, it was really good. It was such an amazing experience. And we finished it with a lovely meal as well. We really did. That was so good. I'm so stuffed. It was such a lot of food. I am. I'm absolutely stuffed as well. We're last in somewhere. We're last fish sauce with Madeira. Why not subscribe to my channel and then find out where we go next?